What is up, everybody? I am the Ross and Angel. Welcome back to another... Oh, I say to another, but these are my first OP-10 builds. It's finally time. I'm sorry for the long wait, but it's finally here. I have six ready to show, and I'm going to be... This is on stream, so I'm going to be dividing these into six different videos and placing them on YouTube. Uh, and then next Friday, there will be another six, and next Friday, another six, and so on and so forth, until Borderlands 3 has arrived. Alright, now let's go ahead and get into this. This is a build I like to call Zero Hour, and it is an explosive zero build. You heard that right. I couldn't do it with Maya, but for some reason it works great with Zero. Uh, I don't really think there's much to go over. Obviously we have uh, the regular Rising Shot, Death Mark, and Kunai. Two Fang to sh shoot a lot faster. Uh, innervate to do a lot of damage out of deception. Execute. I did execute simply to get closer if I was too far away. Uh, we don't end up using it much. It's just not that helpful. Uh, but I have it there just in case. Like the wind because we're going to keep moving some more damage to fire rate. Follow through. More damage. Uh, and then I had to do these just to get further. Iron hand for maximum health. And then just killing blow just because. Uh, obviously headshot for more critical damage, killer for more critical damage, precision for... Yeah, th I'm going to be using a lot of Torg guns, so we're going to need as much extra accuracy as I can get. Velocity, bullet speed, gun damage, crit damage. I didn't do one shot, one kill, because it just... It didn't really feel like it was going to be that that helpful here. Like, at all. Bore, obviously, is a must-have. And then the rest is like ambush more damage from behind, just stuff like that. Right, let's go ahead on to items. Here are the items we are going to be using today. And I know there's some items in here you wouldn't guess. Obviously, Sli Slippery Ogre, it's a really good explosive gun to use for any explosive build. And it works great with zero. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be using several different shotguns. Uh, but the Unicorn Explosion is the one that we may end up using most. What? What the fuck? Tenguska, I know... A lot of people don't like the Tunguska. Baru actually put it in one of his worst, like some of the worst in slot for his stuff. But with the extra bullet speed, this thing goes a lot further, so you're a lot safer, and it can actually get enemies behind cover, which we're going to need. Obviously, Grog Nozzle. We're also going to be using the Peak Opener on tougher enemies. If you, uh, well, this weapon, if you don't already know about it, you'll see why we're going to be using it. Uh, Carnage we're going to be using. Nukem is... It's harder to use because it doesn't have as much of an arc now. The Deepa, I I have it here, but I didn't really test it just because, you know, it's a basic thing to have for an ex for any build, really, and especially an explosive build. Casual Sword Explosion, obviously, explosive build with shotguns. Uh, Evil Smasher is not good with zero. Pocket Rocket is not great. 12-pounder is hard to hit with extra bullet speed. Creamer, because of the extra bullet speed, the split... Uh, you, you would have to shoot this from even further away. Right, uh, we're also going to be using the Sham. The original plan was to use the Rough Rider, which was the plan for OP8, and it worked out well. But, you know, because, uh, where is it? Because of Fearless, which would give us an addition to gun damage and fire rate. But here's the thing. In OP10, it's a whole nother two overpower levels higher. It's a lot harder to survive with a lack of shield. So unfortunately that's not going to be the plan. Obviously we, have, obviously we have a legendary killer for the extra crit damage and also bonuses to ambush damage from behind and enemies not looking at us. We have a killer for more crit, for more crit damage, velocity for more bullet speed, crit damage, gun damage, magic missile slag, and obviously an explosive damage relic for explosive damage. Alright, and as always bar is on Anyways, let's go ahead and test this thing. Grenade. Yes. <laughs> 
All right, everybody. As you can see, the build is, is very nice. It holds up well, like I say every time. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that I did not use the flacker. And and the reason is because if you, you try to use the flacker with velocity at all, it, it there's no point because it sends out the shots too far. They're not close together. And it really just makes the flacker useless. Unfortunately. But yes, other than that, as you can see, uh, the thing about the peak opener is that it uses too much ammo. So, I mean, maybe use a shotgun instead if you feel co more comfortable with that. As you saw, also the Tunguska is very nice. It holds up well, and I actually didn't down myself with it this time. Like I did in past testing. But I was being stupid with it. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to see more, feel free to check out I guess my OP8 playlist, because uh, this is the first of the OP10 builds. Hopefully, though, by next week on Friday, this stuff will uh, there, there there will be a playlist. Going. Yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching, and if, uh, <coughs> thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.